All right. So a while back, I did a video on these stones that we polished out of a planter bed. And I'm happy with the shine. What I'm not happy with is the white uh, residue that we got in a lot of the cracks. So these are my worst culprits here. And so I'm trying to figure out, you know, the best way to get rid of that and done some research on ultrasonic cleaners. And I think that's maybe the ticket. So we're going to test it out here. So I picked this thing up. Ultrasonic cleaner. Pretty good sized. And the instructions are horrible. Uh, so we'll see if I'm doing it right. I set it to 55. We're at 28 degrees Celsius centigrade. Um, so once that heats, we'll get these all in the basket and uh, let her rip for about a half an hour. And hopefully we'll get some good results. We've got everything in a basket. I'm impatient. I'm not going to wait. It says 43, but the camera makes it look weird. Um, 43 degrees out of 55, I think is pretty close. So we're going to get these things started. I'm going to put it in because I need two hands to put this down in here. We've got the rocks in here. It says it needs some cleaning solution. So Don, if you want to, you know, be a sponsor, we're going to use your stuff and show if it works or not. So got them in there, got them ready to go. Supposedly, I just hit this here button and it's gonna be super loud. So I'm gonna set it for about a half hour and uh, we'll come back and check it. And this is how loud this thing is. I guess it's not terrible, but it is annoying. And already I'm seeing a uh, couple swirls and bubbles and whatnot coming off of some of them. So, We'll come back in 30 minutes and uh, see if we got any change. We got about a minute and a half left. Might have kind of worked. This is now the bottom side. And it turned out quite a bit cleaner than the top side. So I flipped everything. Can't really read that but I put it on for another half hour on degas instead because why not? So we'll see, uh, we'll see what that does. Well, the final conclusion, I ran these for an hour. Um, about 55 degrees Celsius and seeing that these still have a lot of that white but the white that's left looks like it's actually just cracks from the rocks themselves rather than polish being stuck in the cracks in fact it seems to have cleaned it so well See if I can get that to focus. Cleaned them so well that it kind of made some of the cracks look like they stand out more. But they're so clean that they're even leaving fingerprints on them. So I think probably the best use for this, because there's no question that, I mean, any dirt or crud that was on these is definitely gone. Um, so there's absolutely no question that it does a great job of cleaning them, but it's not gonna get rid of those white streaks. It did, it reduced them. It did reduce them quite a bit. So the polish that was in there is definitely gone. So I think you're just looking at the white cracks. 
micro fractures or whatever you want to call them that's left. Um, so I think the best use with this machine is probably between stages three and your polish stage just to make sure. And then, like I said, I spun it for an hour. I think a half hour would have been fine, but I wanted to really test it. Wow, that one's really cool. It's got some blue. Seeing kind of a blue glare in there inside. That's really cool. That one's my favorite stone, I think, out of all the ones we polished. This one, I actually think it took some of the shine off and ended up knocking some of the, maybe some of the particles of the rock out. Cause this one was really shiny and now it's not, it doesn't have as smooth of a texture as it did. But for the most part, these all came out really good looking, really clean. Interesting results, not exactly what I was expecting, but also not completely disappointing. Thanks for watching. 